In this crash test its rescue and extrication was great. Hazard lights on. Doors unlocked and handles popped out. Low voltage function. The call activated. The operator can't hear. Rescue and extrication acceptable. The driver's side structure deforms slightly, but the crumple zone worked badly. The bumper beam saw barely any deformation. The pillar was thus under grave impact and ripped early. So the B pillar lost stability, together with the fragile C pillar the compartment collapsed. Severe intrusion arose. Structure rating poor. The severely deformed structure subjected the dummy to lethal head and neck injury. Poor. The head injury was such that it wouldn't make it. So were its chest and calf. Chest protection rating, moderate. Calf protection rating, poor. The driver also suffered head injury due to grave deformation. Head protection rating, poor. It may not make it. Its overall rating in this test, poor. 40 miles per hour 40% frontal offset crash against a deformable barrier. Simulates a crash against other vehicles. This is the IIHS moderate overlap frontal crash evaluation, a standard in NCAP assessments. All vehicles are set to the maximum load. Front, one dummy, second row, two dummies. If there is a third row, two dummies. After the crash hazard lights were on, the call system worked fine. Uh, Doors unlocked. Door handles popped out. Doors could open easily. The windshield wiper worked. Rescue and extrication. Great. Its front crumple zone worked fine. Its battery was well protected. The longitudinal beam bent strangely. It tilted towards the right. The unimpacted side one broke, which is rare. Nothing wrong with the door ring. The connection of aid and B pillars crumpled slightly, but the door could open. Structure rating, acceptable. For the restraint system, all front airbags and seat belts function properly. Dummies only sustain minor injuries. Overall protection rating, great. All could survive. The driver had minor chest and calf injury. Acceptable. Front restraint system, great. The rear dummies injured the same. Acceptable. Rear restraint system, acceptable. It's overall rating on this test. Acceptable. 50 miles per hour 70% rear end crash by a 1 point per tons car.
simulates a secondary accident. The dummy layout and weight distribution remained unchanged. According to the U.S. Federal Regulations 301 and 305, major focuses are fuel and battery leakage, thermal runaway, and structural integrity. After the crash its tailgate opened, power battery was intact, power battery integrity, great. The crash box and bumper beam bent upward, energy absorption was not ideal. Its structure barely deformed, the rocket panel remained intact, doors could open easily. Structure rating, great. Its overall rating in this test, great. 